You begin running down the hall, followed by your brothers. Soon, you reach Koopa's wedding, just as the Koopa King stands up. Wedding time! He shouts. Princess Toadstool appears, wearing a long, fancy dress. She has her hair in a bun and is wearing white gloves. Do you, King Koopa, take Princess Toadstool to be your lawfully wedded wife? The Koopa attendant asks. I sure do, the Koopa King says proudly. Do you, Princess Toadstool, accept? I'm not marrying that monster, Princess Toadstool shrieks. <laughs> you don't have a choice, the Koopa attendant says. I'm an honest girl. You're a lecherous monster! Well, I have to admit, that's a little insulting, Koopa says, cringing. You burst into the wedding. Hey! You shout. The Koopa King and his bride turn around, startled. What you losers doing here? The Koopa King asks angrily. This is a private wedding! Yeah, we know! We crashed it! Wario says eagerly. You say, Princess Toadstool, we're here to rescue you! Thank you, Mario, Princess Toadstool says. I was getting married to Koopa's ugly mug. I'll never have to marry that beastly lizard ever again! Huh, I knew there was a reason I liked you. Luigi says. Come on, Mario. Let's take out the Koopa King. Right, you say. You turn to face the Koopa King, who begins making his way towards you. He jumps higher than you thought he could, and you duck down out of reflex. He falls straight onto his back, making a pfft sound before laughing. Ha ha ha, you're quick little guy, he laughs. You grab a nearby mushroom and toss it at him. He catches it midair, chuckles, <laughs> and spits out the inside before eating the mushroom. Not very effective, genius. You grab a fireball and aim for the Koopa King. He jumps out of the way, but you still manage to hit his tail, which burns. Is that all you got, kid? You say, Luigi, we need to use a team attack. Got it, Luigi says. As soon as the Koopa King turns his back, you run up to him and press B while running forward. The king swings his tail, but you move out of the way, quickly jumping onto his head. Luigi runs forward and hits the Koopa King in the face with his hammer, sending him backwards. While the Koopa King is busy recovering, Moira casts a beam of lighting from her hands, and Wario hits him with a punch to the face. You are about to attack when the Koopa King grabs your brother by the foot and throws him towards you. Wario grabs onto his head and holds on for dear life, just barely grabbing some of his hair. Meanwhile, the Koopa King is laughing evilly. <laughs> Little fool, didn't your daddy teach you any manners? Now you'll have to pay the price. King Koopa orders his children to attack you, and they quickly do so. Most of them try to hit you with their shells, but you're quick enough to dodge. The ones that don't attack try to drag you down with their claws. You say, Toad, I need some help here. Use the portal generator! Got it, dude! Toad says. <laughs> Suddenly, a portal opens up, and you see Princess Toadstool stepping out of it. Thank you, Toad, she says. Toad nods. No problemo! You say, Princess, be careful! There's twelve angry Koopas over here trying to slice us into spaghetti! Got it, she says, blasting them with a fireball. 
The Koopa kids scream and yell as they burn up into a delicious, if not a little bit spicy, sauce. Get in, Mario! You run into the portal. You run into the portal and reappear right in front of King Koopa. I have to say, kid, you're a lot faster than your brother. You say, and I have to say, Koopa, you're a lot uglier up close. King Koopa <laughs>, laughs at this, and you quickly dodge when he tries to hit you with a fireball. Is that the best you can do, Koopa? You run forward and jump onto his head, like you did to the Koopa King from before. However, this time it works a lot better, as you manage to trip the Koopa King up and get him to fall forward. I. You hit the Koopa King in the face with your fists a few times, not giving him the chance to get up. You've got guts, kid! For a Goomba! The remaining Koopa Kids assemble around you, as your brother and the princess run out of the portal. I don't know if we're going to make it. Don't just stand there. Hold them off. You say, Luigi, take the freezing charm. Princess, take the flame gem. What's with the gem, man? The more magic power we can put into this fight, the better. Fair enough, he says, taking the charm and throwing it to you. You need it more than I do. You say, What do you say we give these punks a taste of our pasta power? You run forward and begin kicking each of the Koopa kids as hard as you can. Ah! It burns! Turn off the flames! I can't! You begin laughing. <laughs> How's it feel, Koopa kids? Do you like being on the receiving end of pasta power? We're not finished yet, King Koopa says. King Koopa gets up and pulls out a red magic wand. Finish them, the boss says. You, the princess, and Luigi look on nervously as King Koopa casts a barrage of fire blasts at you. You feel your body beginning to burn but you keep moving. Ugh! I can't! Do it, bro! The princess says. You begin breathing heavily and try to cast a frost spell at King Koopa. He blocks it with his wand and begins walking forward, breathing heavily. You use the Superstar. BURN! King Koopa screams and casts a ring of fire around himself. You concentrate as hard as you can on the Superstar in your possession and mentally shape it. You can feel the magic coursing through you and... A flash of light appears before you, and the superstar begins to shake and vibrate. You feel energy coursing through you, and your strength grows stronger. You grab the Koopa King's wand and throw it to the ground. You then use your newfound strength and begin punching the wand into small chunks. You continue using your newfound strength to throw those chunks at King Koopa. My wand! You broke my wand! You say, And next, I'm gonna break you! You pick up the wand and move forward as King Koopa attempts to cast a spell at you. You, however, are already floating in the air and manage to dodge the attack. 
you fly at Koopa and hit him with an elbow pasta drop. King Koopa attempts to cast a spell at you, but you move out of the way and hit him with an elbow pasta drop. You quickly fly forward and cast a flame blast at Koopa's feet, setting them on fire. You say, I wouldn't want you to get cold feet at your wedding, Koopa. You fly forward, punching King Koopa in the jaw. You hit him with another flame blast to his feet, causing them to burn as well. Fool! I can't be burned! You hit King Koopa in the back, making him fly into the wall. You fly in front of him and hit him with another elbow pasta drop. Oof! You fly to his side and shoot a continuous stream of fire at him. The stream of fire hits him in the head, burning it as well. With Koopa on the floor, you fly forward and hit him with a flame shot to his chest, burning his skin as well. Ah! You defeat Koopa with your spaghetti slammer technique. You fly forward, sticking out your leg as you ram it into King Koopa's face, knocking him on the floor. You fly forward once again and deliver a spaghetti smash to his head, breaking it. He's defeated. You stand triumphantly over Koopa as your friends gather round you. It's over, Koopa. You've lost. You stand triumphantly over King Koopa's body, your friends gathering around you. Yes, we did it! We beat the bad guy! The princess says. Heh, <laughs> you showed him, Mario, Wario says. Now the kingdom is free, and the people can live happily again. Right you are, partner. And that's how we do it! One of the best endings in the game! You say, not yet. There's one last thing we need to take care of. Get up, Koopa. Huh? I said get the hell up, you oversized green idiot! Wario gets up, and all of you stare at Koopa. He tries to move, but he's embedded in the wall. Embedded in a block of cement. You say, Koopa, I know you were only trying to marry Princess Toadstool because you want your newborn child to have a mother. Koopa tries to respond, but all that leaves his mouth is some crushed and bloody teeth. You see, this is what happens when people take advantage of others. And it's high time for you to pay for your crimes against this kingdom, kidnapping, assault, and illegal gambling. Wario pulls a large <laughs> rusted bolt out of the cement with a chainsaw. You say, no Wario. We can't kill him. I won't allow his child to become an orphan. That's a nice thought, but Toadstool and I were only just recently, Wario begins to say. I don't care. This child is still innocent in all this, and to kill the father would be bad for the child. Wario looks at you for a moment. He knows it's nonsense, but he's too kind to say so. He just pulls out the bolt and throws it on the ground. Fine! You say, Koopa, you weren't always so wicked and repulsive, were you? What? What are you on about, Mario? I'm a paragon of evil, at least compared to you humans. Ha <laughs> ha! Paragon of evil? You're an idiot if you believe that. I know you. In fact, I'm coming over there. You say, Even you have love in your heart. 
You love your child. Just how you were once in love with Moira. Ha 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 Koopa laughs before stopping suddenly. He looks down, quiet a bit embarrassed. Yes, I did love her, he says at last. She once said the same about you. She once said that you loved her, just like she loved you. Is this some sort of weird Italian love sonnet? Koopa says with a bit of a disgusted tone, but you know he's lying. You still love her, don't you? Of course, he says, a little more sure of himself. I'm not talking about a superficial love. I'm talking about the type of love that would make one sacrifice everything for the other. The type of love that can bloom even in the middle of a battlefield, when two people are destined to be together. Koopa <laughs> begins to weep. It's the first time you've seen him cry, and it's a bit unnerving. But, you say, but what? Koopa, what made you change? Why did you become such a repulsive reptile? Koops is quiet for a moment, trying to compose himself. I... I was betrayed, he says. By who? Her. You are growing impatient. Well, who? M Moira, he answers. You say, what do you mean? It's an long tea, a complicated story. Try me. Koopa sighs in frustration before beginning his tale. Once upon a time, there was a princess named Moira. She was beautiful smart and kind. Everyone loved her. There was one problem, though. She didn't love them. Instead, she loved someone else. However, her parents would not allow her to marry this man, so they got married anyway. Soon after, her husband had a child with Moira, a daughter. This daughter was named after her father. Moira loved her daughter more than anything and wanted the best for her. Sadly, there was a war that broke out and her husband was called to fight in it. He never returned. Moira then met Koopa. He was a member of a group that killed the king that Moira's parents wanted to marry her to. And in order for them to be able to marry, he needed to die. He fell in love with the royal family. However, he was kicked out of their house for breaking several of their rules, such as attempting to have relations with the royal family's daughter. He then heard that they were looking for a new butler, and he tried to get a job as one. He failed. However, he saw the princess and was instantly enchanted by her. He tried to get to know her, but the parents were against it. So he stole her away at night while her parents slept in an secluded area where they became intimate. He believed that they were now married and would be together always. When he learned that the king's daughter was to wed another man, his mind snapped. He kidnapped her and took her to a secluded area. He cut her throat in front of her horrified parents and then buried her body. He then set the place on fire, not bothering to dispose of the body. That's why I'm a Koopa boy. Sneak, liar, kidnapper, killer. You say, but 
Koopa, that's not true. Moira is still alive. Koopa snorts and spits on the ground. No, she died that night. Died a long time ago. You stand in silence for a moment. This revelation has taken you off guard. Then... Then who am I? Moira approaches Koopa and whispers in his ear. He nods and looks at you with tears in his eyes. I am your father. You say, No! That's impossible! It is true, my son. Koopa's face becomes one of anguish and despair. I'm sorry, my son. You begin to weep as well. This is an impossible revelation for you to take. Why would Koopa tell you this? You say, How can this be? I thought I was born in Brooklyn. I thought I was the son of Mama Mario. I thought Luigi was my brother! Koopa nods, his own eyes beginning to water. I'm... I'm so sorry, my son. Tears stream down your face, this being too much for you to handle. Even though you know it's true, it's impossible to comprehend. You're my father! You whisper in awe. Yes, Koopa whispers in tears, a broken man. You hug him tightly. I'm sorry. I should have told you sooner. You say, but how did I end up in the human world with Luigi? Koopa puts a skeletal hand to his brow and thinks for a moment. It was a year after, with Moira. A cold wind blows as you hear the creaking of old rickety doors and windows being opened in other parts of the castle. You are suddenly reminded of your own home that you left behind. I had gotten back together with Moira, and things were good again between us, kooky and fiery as always. I loved her. A series of loud, pounding footsteps sound in the distance. The other Koopalings are awake. I remember hearing a scream. I woke up, and I could hear his screams, all right? I ran into the bedroom where she was. I didn't know what happened. It was all a blur after that. You begin to think back to your own relationship with Moira. You say, Moira, so you're my real mother? Yes, my son. Koopa sniffles and wipes away his tears. Everyone has a mother, even you. But why didn't anyone tell me this before? Who was there to tell you? Only I lived when you were born, and I'm dead now. Wario? He doesn't give a crap about you, that worthless son of a... You say, Moira, what do you mean you're dead? I'm dead, my son. You're lying! Koopa shakes his head slowly. You say, Moira! You're a ghost? A ghost and an apparition, my son. I'm sorry. You begin to cry again. You only have your father now, and you don't want him to go away either. He's the only one who can explain things to you. You say, Before Moira died, 
The two of you sent me to the human world, so I could be raised like an ordinary child. Is that it? Koopa nods slowly. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what we did. You have a twisted childhood. Most people don't have happy ones, so it's perfectly normal for you to have one. You say, I can't believe it. My greatest enemy turns out to be my father, and my mother turns out to be a green sweater vest wearing ghost. <laughs> Koopa begins to laugh. Tears are streaming down his face. He eventually can't laugh anymore, and he sighs a breath of air. His body begins to fade away like a ghost's would. Goodbye. My son. You say, But Koopa, I love you! Koopa then kisses you on the cheek. I know you do, honey. He smiles. Then he vanishes. You shed a tear and smile, knowing that Koopa and Moira will find peace together in the afterlife. A little boy with a flat face and puffy eyes appears in his place. I can't believe it! He looks at you. You say, You must be... Cooper's baby? Correct. You say, I'm sorry, son. Your father loved you very much. But he's gone now. You pick up the baby turtle and cradle it in your arms. We need to raise you as best as we can. So if you'll just gather around, I'll tell you about... Childhood. You say, Childhood is a lot like a pizza pie. If you bake it with care, it's the sweetest thing in the world. You begin by telling the baby turtle about the world. There's monsters under the bed and nuclear warheads on the moon. Sometimes adults are like unreasonable dictators who can't see anything except math and geography and puberty. You show the baby turtle a picture of your house. Here's the house. You should know where it is, as you'll be living there quite often. To your surprise, the baby turtle begins to cry. Don't cry! I'm not going to eat you! You say, The world may be a scary place, but I won't let anything happen to you, because I'm your brother. And here in Mushroom Land, we take good care of our brothers. Isn't that right, Luigi? Luigi nods. That's right. We never, ever eat brothers. You feed the baby turtle some milk from your bottle. Do you want some more? The baby turtle nods eagerly. You say, So what should we call this little bambino? How about... Brother. Yeah, that is a nice name. The baby turtle smiles. Brother it is, then. You say, Well, Princess Toadstool, what do you say we take you home? Thank you, Mario. I don't think I can ever repay you. Repay me? Repay me for what? Well, you know, for saving my life. You say, forget about it, princess. I'm a plumber. Helping people is what I do. Thank you, Mario. I'll never forget. The princess kisses you on the cheek and hugs you. You do a victory pose. Ha ha! I just helped save the world. Nothing can stop me now. Thank you. Thank you, my Mario. 
you take a break and lean against a wall. Soon, Wario and Toad come by. Hey, Mario! Check out my new car! What is it? It's a blunder bike! Have you ever ridden one of these? It's like a motorbike, but bigger and slower. It gets you pretty much everywhere. You say, So, is that going to help you finally steal the moon? No, but it'll help me get to the planet Tatooine. I'm going to sell it to the space pirates as a planet. It'll become my new trading post. You say, Then I guess this is goodbye, Wario. Yeah, I suppose so. I don't know. We've been through a lot. You took me in when no one else would. You gave me a chance when no one else would. You helped me turn my ideas into realities. Thanks for that. Wario looks down a bit and sniffles. He dabs his eyes with his armband. Well enough of this sappy stuff. I've got a ship to steal, a universe to rule, a planet to enslave, and droids to fight. You take care of yourself, kid. And if I'm lucky, I might just see you again one day. You shake Wario's hand. Wario shakes your hand firmly. Thank you for the company, Wario. It was a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. See you later, kid. Wario turns and leaves. He watches his figure get smaller and smaller until he's gone. You say, What about you, Toad? Are you happy to finally return home with the princess? Oh, yes. Finally, I will get to use my loot in a place where it won't be destroyed immediately. I feel like I've been keeping it stored away for my whole life. You say, I didn't even know you played the loot. I don't. I just have a knack for it. It's one of my more entertaining habits. Well, let's get going. The sooner we get there, the sooner I can play. You walk over to Luigi. Luigi walks over to you. I never thanked you for saving me in Koopa Troopa City. I was so close to getting turned to stone. I don't need thanks, but I need you to do something for me. What? You say, keep being my brother. Okay. Luigi smiles and gives you a brotherly hug. You wait for the hug to end. Do not try to kiss me on the cheek this time. Got it. The pair of you begin your journey back to the castle. You say, Mario Brothers Plumbing. It's a family business. And after today, I'd say I have the best family in interdimensional, half Italian, half Koopa, princess rescuing plumber from Brooklyn could ever ask for. So if your sink is in trouble, give us a call. You might just find yourself hooked on the brothers. Plumber's Log, this is Mario, signing off. Your sign-off brings an end to the story of the Mario Brothers, Plumbers. They were a pair of brother plumbers with many quirks and interesting adventures. While their story may be over, the tale they tell will live on forever. Thank you for reading, and good luck in your future endeavors. You say, Until next time, everybody! Do the Mario! Do the Mario! Swing your arms from side to side! Come on, it's time to go! Do the Mario! Take one step! And then again, let's do the Mario all together now. You got it. It's the Mario. 
do the Mario. Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go do the Mario. Take one step, and then again. Let's do the Mario all together now. Come on now. Just like that. The